Welcome again right now at Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 and 13. Work out your salvation. Paul said, So then, my beloved, even as you have always obeyed, key word here, obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. This is a verse you will not hear from the lips of the hyper grace, counterfeit grace preachers. This is a verse that you don't hear too much about in churches today. But you are to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. I know some people, they say, well, look at the thief on the cross. Jesus said, you know, today you will be with me in paradise. He was saved, but he didn't really do anything. All he said was just, you know, Jesus, remember me. But he repented. He didn't have a chance to really do anything, to really prove his actual repentance, to bear fruit of repentance. However, the fact that he feared God enough to turn to Jesus and to say, Remember me when you come into your kingdom and tell the other one, don't you fear God? Listen, we are being punished justly, rightly we are being punished. We are getting what we deserve, but this man is not getting what he deserves. Now that is humility. That man humbled himself. He accepted the fact that he has sinned, that he was in sin, and he turned. He showed fruit of repentance in the, in the sense that he turned from his sin enough to call the other guy to fear God and to also turn from his sin and to also humble himself to come down from his pride and to acknowledge that he is also being rewarded justly for what he has done. But Jesus is not. He is being punished for what he did not do. And the fact that the thief said, remember me when you come into your kingdom, that shows that he believed that Jesus was a holy man, a good man, and he also gives hints of the belief that he is the Messiah. Seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.